There are a lot of believers in church. By the grace of God, the Holy Spirit is there. But you guys have caged him. You have restricted him. You have limited him. So he's not able to gain expression. He is not able to take charge. The Holy Spirit has to take charge for you to, for you to really see what he can do. It's like driving two cars. A manual transmission, an automatic transmission. The Holy Spirit is that automatic transition. Transmission. You move things by himself. You shift things by himself. You position things by himself. He will lead you by himself. That's what that you read in the Bible. He led me beside the still waters. He led me. He restored my, my, my soul. He led me into the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of a shadow of death, but I will fear no you for who? For thou art in me. Is it talking about a human being? He's not talking about a human being. It's fully submitting to the Holy Spirit. One of the things that stops the Holy Spirit from taking over, one of the things that stops the Holy Spirit from moving and, and handling your transmission as a Christian, one of the things that, stop the, that stops Christians, believers, from moving from the manual transmission to the automatic transmission where the Holy Spirit moves things, brings things, position things, directs things. is pride, is a realm and error, and is a realm and a place of pride and ego. Pride and ego, the Holy Spirit does not work in that place. Because anybody who works in pride and ego says, I know. And when you say you know, I'm telling you, you cut off the Holy Spirit from bringing insight, bringing revelations. Sometimes you hear a scripture. You've heard a scripture, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, maybe last week. And there, you know, it says ABC. For some reason, this week, the same scripture has come again. If you are moving and living under, but with pride and ego, you say, oh, this one, we know what is there. You just cut yourself off from that revelation that is coming. And there are a lot of believers in the house of God who think they know. You don't know anything until the Holy Spirit has revealed it to you. I'm telling you, some of you are living with people. You think you know them. You don't know them. Some of you have had people around you, been around you for years. You think you know them. You don't know them until the Holy Spirit has revealed to you who this person is. Some of you are dating people you want to marry. They dated for five years. You think you know them. You don't know them until the Holy Spirit has revealed to you who this person is. 